Uh, I'm very honored to be uh, invited to be uh, one of the keynote speakers today. Uh, I'm responsible for innovation at Hyundai Motor Group. And I achieve innovation by launching new businesses and securing technology through open innovation. So the answer to the title of today's talk, which is who will be the master or market shaper of the future of mobility will become quite clear toward the end of my presentation. Uh, where is the first slide? Can you go to the first slide, please? Or do I, do I click? Okay, thank you. So this is the title that I just mentioned. Uh, who will be the market shaper of the future of mobility? Then next slide, okay. All right. So uh, before I joined the Hyundai Motor Group, I was responsible for uh, corporate strategy for 10 years at Samsung. And uh, while I was there, I established the R&D center here in Israel. And uh, uh, I actually never visited Israel. I already sent somebody, somebody else. But when I joined the Hyundai, uh, which was less than a year ago, this is my third trip to Israel. So this at least gives an indication how serious uh, Hyundai considers uh, Israel to be an important innovation hub. So uh, when, when you see this uh, slide, you will see that uh, when uh, a country, which is you know, a land of uh, a desert, uh, turns it into beautiful cities like this, uh, you know, it's, it's very hard to resist coming back to see how we could learn innovation from a country like Israel. Okay, let me go to the next slide. How do I go to the next slide? Oh, here you go. Oops, sorry about that. I'm not very technical. <laughs> All right. So uh, speaking of uh, 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 chutzpah, Korean language actually doesn't have a such vocabulary. But we do have the same spirit in Korea. After the Korean War in 1950s, Korea was the third poorest country in the world. Then there was a young entrepreneur who had an aspiration to build a shipbuilding company. But he had uh, no collateral and no, but no bank would lend him any money. So what he did was he showed a picture of this uh, turtle ship, which was built 400 years ago. And at that time, it was uh, cutting edge technology. So he was able to get the necessary funding or financing. And that's how the Hyundai Motor Group actually started by this young entrepreneur. And the Hyundai Shipbuilding is now the largest uh, shipbuilder in the world. The story of Hyundai Motor is uh, no different than the story of Israel. We just started out as a small automotive company without much global presence 20 years ago. And uh, even during the Asian financial crisis, uh, most large Korean companies struggled. But our chairman saw this opportunity and acquired uh, another Korean brand called Kia Motors. This decisive move placed the uh, Hyundai Motor Group on the global auto market. So in year 2000, we produced a little over 2 million cars per year and put us in number 10 slot. But by year 2016, last year, we grew to produce up to 8 million cars, which placed us as one of the global top five automakers. But what I'm trying to show here is that our aim is not just volume anymore. It's all about innovation and customer satisfaction. In the new digital era, we are accelerating again to create a future with our partners. That's why I'm here in Israel. We like to work with the most innovative and creative minds to change the future of mobility. 
One last slide about the Hyundai Motor Group. As you can see, uh, we are more than just an automaker. Hyundai Steel is actually one of the top 10 steel makers in the world. Hyundai Engineering and Construction is ranked number seven in the world in terms of its uh, construction capability. So our brand's portfolio covers from automobile to steel, construction, logistics, finance, and IT, which makes Hyundai Group an ideal partner for innovation in mobility and beyond. Okay, so Hyundai Motor Group uh, launched this strategy and technology division only about four or five months ago. And the goal of this division is to secure uh, the group's sustainable growth by launching new businesses and securing technology. And this technology securing is through open innovation because Hyundai Motor Group comes from very diverse business domain we have knowledge in just uh, every field. And uh, because we understand uh, such a broad range of industries, we can create new opportunities better and faster. And our interest is in smart mobility, smart city, energy, and robots, as well as AI. And today, I'm going to focus my talk on smart mobility. So Hyundai Motor Group, as one of the global top five automakers, is also executing smart mobility strategy with following three strategic pillars. Uh, clean mobility, freedom in mobility, as well as connected mobility. And clean mobility means uh, we manufacture all types of EVs, class leading fuel economy, as well as leadership in fuel cell electric vehicle. Freedom in mobility means obviously autonomous vehicle as well as mobility service and micro mobility. Connected mobility means hyper connected car, smart home and uh, healthcare within the car. So let me go into each one of them uh, in a little more detail. First, uh, clean mobility. It's actually mean electrifying our vehicles. Since the uh, diesel scandal two years back, the global automotive industry has expedited transition to electrification. And we are the only manufacturer that has commercialized all four types of EVs, including HEV, PHEV, BEV, and FCEV. For example, Ionic, uh, which is Hyundai Motor Group's EV brand, it provides three different drive train options. Why so many different options is quite clear because the more lineup that you have, the more choices that customers get in terms of choosing what types of electric vehicles suits them. So I'm proud to say that our flagship BEV called Ionic Electric ranks as the top in terms of EPA fuel economy. Currently, the range, which is the mileage per charging, is the most important parameter to compare different uh, uh, BEVs. And the range is highly dependent on obviously the battery size, but also the weight. So there is a trade-off, which results in you know, better um, fuel economy. So with our efforts to balance this range as well as the fuel economy, uh, our electric vehicle achieves the best fuel economy by EPA. Last but not least in terms of clean mobility is that we are taking a leadership role in fuel cell electric vehicle. Tucson IX35 fuel cell which was unveiled in Paris Motor Show in 2012 was the world's first mass produced FCV. Our second generation uh, FE uh, will debut at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic game in February. So this new model will be an SUV type and it will be filled with the latest in-car technology including our newest ADAS, 
which is this uh, advanced driver uh, assistance system. Next, I'll move on to freedom in mobility. And uh, freedom in mobility means freedom to choose any mobility service that best suits you. Whether they are home delivered car sharing, residential sharing, or environmentally friendly car sharing or carpool, uh, we are working with our partners to bring mobility sharing service that makes sense to you. Another uh, thing that we want to talk about our freedom in mobility is we want to serve the entire customer journey, which is both own car mobility service because it has limits. So for example, customers has to continue their journey after parking their car or arrive at a station to reach their final destination. Micro mobility solution like Ionic Scooter can solve this inconvenience by complementing the first and last miles of your trip. This was also unveiled at CES this January, and its lightweight electric powertrain and one-touch folding feature were very well received by the customers. Last one is the connected mobility. Today, car is also called smartphone on four wheels. The connected car will not only be used as a means of transportation, but it will be one of the central hub for all IoT. So your car will be connected with each other, of, of course, with your office and uh, your home. So anticipating this connected area, we are developing a hyper-connected intelligent car, particularly with the global uh, tech companies. So we have partnership with the companies like Cisco, and Baidu in China, because in China, Baidu has uh, the cutting edge technology implementing voice guided navigation system covering uh, all of uh, China. So in a nutshell, our smart mobility is about clean mobility, freedom in mobility, connected mobility, which is bringing our customers the most efficient, convenient, economical mobile, mobile solution, which is insanely safe. So we will play a market shaper role with partners in Israel in shaping the future of smart mobility. And I'd like to talk a little more about our innovation strategy. After we uh, set up this uh, strategy and technology division, we had a very productive uh, year in Israel. In, in July of this year, we formulated a corporate level uh, innovation strategy for Israel. Soon after, we have forged a partnership with various innovation leaders in Israel. All our partners work directly with various entities within our uh, group. Uh, also, we have a uh, strategic partnership with uh, Technion which was formed during this uh, period. As I said at the beginning, we are also setting up an innovation hub, which is expected to be launched here in the early part of next year. <laughs> oh, okay, I, <laughs> I have to mention Tel Aviv and Israel to get the applause, right? Okay, I'll mention a little more then. Uh, Hyundai's uh, strategy boils down to, you know, three very simple approaches. First approach, we call it Ignite Up. We like to ignite innovation by connecting your ideas to the real world. Uh, we are looking for innovative ideas in mobility, in AI, robotics, energy, which I mentioned earlier. In addition, startups can work with various groups or our uh, sister companies within the Hyundai Motor Group which you are now aware that it covers a very broad range of products and services. Startups can also work directly with our experts in Korea. In addition, we have also created partnership with uh, you know, top universities, as I mentioned, such as uh, Technion, which we signed an MOU uh, uh, two months back. The second is uh, RevUp. This means that we will help startups in Israel accelerate its innovation through investments, 
and joint developments. Our Israel Innovation Investment Strategy includes a large direct strategic investment commitment and various indirect investments through our partners. This is a sign that Hyundai Motor Group leadership understands the innovation capability of uh, the startups here and uh, we want to uh, make as many partners as possible. The last but not least, our third approach is teaming up. In this approach, whether it's a strategic partnership or through acquisitions, we aim to make it easier for our partners to introduce their innovations to consumers globally. So Hyundai is one of the largest conglomerates in Korea, and by working with Hyundai, it will be a win-win scenario. So all of these three approach requires creativity and participation, and we look forward to creating the future of smart mobility with you. I think this is the best uh, slide. <laughs> In the past, I didn't believe in miracle, but uh, when I see desert turn into beautiful cities, a village turned into you know, a nice place for everybody to live, turtle ship uh, are turning into mega business. So there is no better word than call it miracle. So I like to sum up our presentation by saying there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle, the other is as though everything is a miracle. I came back to Israel because this is the land of people who live their life as though everything is a miracle. So thank you. And uh, great to hear about the, uh, the new uh, Hyundai Innovation Lab uh, coming, coming soon uh, to, to Israel. Uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think Hyundai is the number one uh, car brand here in Israel as well, and I, and I drive a Hyundai i30, so, uh, so we, we, we can bond more on that later. Uh, but thank you, uh, Dr. Yongchu, uh, for that. Uh, it's now time for our first panel discussion of the day on the future of the automotive industry. Uh,